Happy Cancer. Welcome to your free extended bonus for this month. I'm going to clarify. So in the first part of the reading, we started off right with the Tower card. We have Mars retrograde happening through January. So for some of you, maybe that means that a recent relationship has gone on pause. It looked like everything was perfect, and now it's like it is totally not. It has fallen apart. We have the Lovers here and the Ten of Cups. Could be dealing with a Gemini. So potentially right now, yeah. Oof, everything is fine. Yikes. <laughs> everything coming to the surface. And this, and this, and this. Yeah, maybe that's what's causing this tower here. Ten feet tall. Oof. Yeah, nine of wands. Feeling the burn. Burned by some passion, maybe. What's going on with this ten of cups, then? Maybe somebody had a different passion for somebody else. Yeah. Maybe that's why the, <laughs> the picture perfect, not so picture perfect, right? When there's um, extra parties involved in the situation. And maybe that's why all these like lies came out. And that's what caused the tower, you know, the lies can only last you know so long and then you know the truth comes out then you know start seeing things clearly right the wisdom becomes you know will come to you <clears throat> breaking down those illusions yeah with the moon card here yeah busting back into your stability cancer you're like i don't know who you think you're messing with so, <laughs> spirit, let's clarify the hermit here. Oh. No, do -si do Oh, my God. Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah, that's a hermitage, all right. Yeah, maybe... Maybe people haven't been hearing from you lately and they're like, what is up? You know, <laughs> cancer. They're like, you haven't been answering my calls. You're like so mysterious. You know, did you even tell anybody where you're going? You're like, I know the way. I have wisdom beyond my years. Yeah. Spirit, spirit of this King of Pentacles for Cancer. Page of Cups. I feel like somebody thought you were a newbie with this, but you're not. <laughs> That's what they're finding out. So there's some illusions there that are, you know, being busted wide open. <clears throat> yeah, five of wands. So this is causing some conflict, some kind of drama stuff. It's just, it's immature type stuff. You know, they're like, oh, I didn't know you were really like this. Like, oh, what, like responsible? Like take care of my, you know self, you know, be able to get myself from point A to point B. Yeah. So no wonder cancer why you're like, uh, yeah, I'm going to be in my little hermit energy a little bit over here. <laughs> focus on spirit saying, yeah, just focus on those pentacles. But yeah, you still got some lingering drama, some dramatics hanging around here. So, Spirit. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Cancer. Wow. 
doeth speaketh. Yeah, say it. Say I'm going to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn my seven of pentacles into a ten of pentacles. I got my bag. Two of swords. Cut it loose. Yeah. Yeah, you know you're going to have to, you know, in order to get this bag, you're going to have to cut yourself out of the stagnation. And you're going to have to, you know, be clear with, you know, whoever this is, this fuck. Oops. I see. Spirit, let's clarify the five of cups for cancer, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, again, I feel like whoever you are kind of like cutting out was just like, they might be like, oh, you spend so much time you know, on your work and you don't have any time for me and you're like, yeah, well, you know what? Like, this is what I'm after right now. So if you don't like it, I mean, you know, get a hobby, <laughs> you know, like get out of my energy about it. Maybe what that's what this three of wands is like, you're like, I don't want to be around this. <laughs> Yeah, you need the stillness, remember. Yeah. Spirit, just clarify the Nine of Cups, please, for Cancer. Pisces. Maybe you're dealing with the Pisces. I mean... Pisces will be shortly after that Mars retrograde ends. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, maybe for some of you, it's going to take that time to get out of that stagnation. And I feel like at that time, like this is just such a more confident pose on this card than the other one where it's kind of like, feels like it's your decision. And here with the nine of cups, it's almost like, the reverse, you know, it's just the, the pose, right? You're like, yeah, um, I got my bag now and I don't mind if I do hang here for a second because I earn my spot. <laughs> now, where that spot is, I don't know, Cancer. You might have to... You know, like, I don't want to say literally pack up your things, but you might have to kind of like, you know, for some of you, if that means moving, that you might have to like sell some things or, you know what I mean? Like, you know, maybe you just don't have the space for it anymore or you just don't want to haul it around anymore, you know? Spirit through ones here. Oof, ace of wands, passion, Fire. Oh my gosh. You're going after it, Cancer. Could be some Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Love becoming that funeral pyre with the Ten of Wands. Let's clarify spirit for Cancer. Wow. The Empress. Ooh, my, 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 my. Love comes in. Mm hmm So you thought it was over <laughs> with this lovers here, but I mean, you're walking into some Empress energy. Uh, you know, with your with your ten of pentacles here, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Could be involved with a fire sign. Could I mean this could just be an idea that's gonna make you a lot of money though. And I feel like some people are really gonna be shook about it. It's kind of crazy. But you know, you've you've already moved on. That's the thing. Like. <laughs> You done did what you needed to do. And yeah, here it is. There's your bag. Uh, uh. 
So, you know, as you're kind of quietly sticking to your story, you know what I'm saying? Keeping your head down and then bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Look at that. Right? It's the same as like, you know, um, people that still go to the gym like in the winter time, you know, because <laughs> they want to be ready for the season. You know what I mean? It's not... It's not, oh, well, I'm going to start working out when, when this time comes. Like, no, they just do it all the time. So they're just always, they're just always ready. So I feel like there's a lot of, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm ready. Ready. Da, 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 da. <laughs> just a little bit with this five wand and this page of cups, but, uh, I feel like people are going to find out real quick that you're like, uh, you know, homie, don't play that. <laughs> type thing and you know you just need to back the f up and you know um just kind of relax a little bit because you will you will cut somebody off without thinking twice about it right you know you're like look it's it's time to close up this shop and focus on what's bringing me um you know those coins and, um, you know, turning my life into something that's gonna, you know, manifest, um, new ideas and spark creativity and, um, new love and, you know, passion and fire and all those kind of things. Alrighty. Um, let's do okay, work your light. Oracle card, please, Spirit, for Cancer, play. Alrighty. Cancer and Scorpio season. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. Oh, that's so nice. In cancer energy. Um, Cancerians are such good manifestors too, especially in with that emotional, you know, kind of like that home is where the heart is type energy. It's really awesome. So birthing a new age, yeah, giving yourself love. So maybe this is kind of part of it, <clears throat> Cancer, is that like you thought you had, you know, the love that you desire, but then you became embattled and fell, you know, well, uh, when you're in a being cheated on, <laughs> third down, yeah, third party situation anyway. Um but then now it's like you're giving that love to yourself and, you know, with that's going to be coming, you know, any kind of opportunity that's going to, um, you know, cause you to like want to stick around for a minute. All right. <laughs> that kind of energy. Okay. So let's do one more please spirit for cancer. Imrama, what are you being called to journey to? So, yeah, so maybe for some of you that are planning to travel, um, you know, maybe this is going to be part of a, a greater calling, a greater purpose in your life, okay? Um, so if you are planning some kind of trip. And here at the bottom of the deck is saying Council of the Light, divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realm. So 
Spirit's saying here that as you are on this journey, that you are going to have help, you know, so tune into your guides, um, your intuition, you know, that's here with the hermit, you know, um, he's holding this, this light, you know, that's kind of like his intuition here, you know what I mean? Like that's, you know, there's always something that's going to be your, your guiding light, um, that's going to allow you to go on those tracks and those journeys. Okay. Yeah, so anybody that's thought that they were going to be keeping you in the dark, you know, they they have just been misinformed. <laughs> All right. So, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Until next time. Bye.